I see I'm gonna do my ghetto views um, volume 81 this is where I talk about things that's in the news on the blogs people have sent me links to so I'm just gonna talk about a few things um, I don't have no notes so we just gonna go off of just stuff that I just looking at right now um can we stop trying to make first of all first of all let me go back because <laughs> I was about to go in on something else why I did not review the Grammys, why I did not watch the Grammys, they're not for me. Um, I'm just getting to the point where this popularity contest is, is just not for me. The whole thing with Beyonce and Let Us See and I thought it was some bullshit. I'm not going to go in on no Beyonce um, because it was the Grammy people fault. I don't... I did think it was a whole fucked up situation. I don't give Beyonce that much. I don't I don't go in on her. I don't praise her. I don't do none of that. I do think that she should have let she should have just said, you know what, Grammys, okay, I'ma sing and then brought Let Us See out or whatever, but it didn't happen, so hey. That's why I don't fuck with the Grammys like that. I don't think they put people that I listen to up there so why should I watch it you know I, I I no shade to Beyonce no shade to Iggy Nikki none of them people but that's not who I listen to on a regular basis you know what I'm saying I I'm I'm so old school I still listen to Betty Wright I still listen to Anita Baker I, I listen to Let It See I listen to Jill Scott you know what I'm saying so when them kind of people are winning and stuff like that. Then I would want to watch it. When they start putting YG up there and Kendrick Lamar and, you know, people that I listen to, then I would be like, okay, I'm going to watch it. I'm going to review it. But I don't. Everybody that they be putting up there, I'm over. They overrated to me. And I just don't do it. So that's why I didn't review the Grammys. That's why I didn't watch the Grammys. I didn't care about them. People were so up in arms, and I'm like, this is what y'all, y'all vent and say this shit every year. So if y'all stop watching them, they won't have nothing to y'all to vent to, I'm just saying. Um, the whole thing with Beyonce and Kim Kardashian, can y'all please stop trying to make them friends? They, <laughs> maybe Kim wants to be friends with Beyonce, but it's clearly Beyonce is like, I am so over this. I'm so over them trying to take pictures with us. Um, that's how her pictures, if that's, that's not how she feels, that's her, how her pictures come off. Every picture that I have seen her with, with um, them attention horror, that attention horror couple, I just be like, she act like she don't want to be there. So why are y'all forcing these pictures? Why are y'all forcing these dates? I don't know. And Kim, Kim, Kim. This is the second picture I've seen or thing I've seen of your baby throwing a tantrum in a fashion show. She don't want to be there. Little kids are only going to sit there for 10 minutes and that's it. And they don't want to be there. I don't know if you're not reading your parenting books or you're not watching your videos that show you or you're not being around some normal kids. But it will let you know that kids are only going to sit there 10 minutes at most. And then they want to get up. And they want to run around. And they want to play. This little girl is not an accessory. And y'all are treating this little girl as an accessory and not a child. If y'all get what I'm saying. Like, she's so old, dressed up. So made up. You never see this girl playing. You never see this girl dirty. You never, you know what I'm saying? So, she don't have no childhood. And then you're going to get mad when she grow up all fucked up. I'm like your little sister. I'm just saying like, mm-mm, mm-mm. Speaking of the Kardashians, I did watch the Amber Rose um, interview um, on The Breakfast Club. I like Amber Rose. I, I, I like her. I like her attitude. I like the way she explained things. <laughs> you know, I, I it was something about that interview turned me on to her that I was like, okay, I can vibe with this chick. I I'm with her where she say you don't have to be, you know, she's only 31. So her taking on pictures and her son seeing that. And then her pictures don't be really raunchy. Her picture's really not raunchy. Now her saying, oh, well, it was just random. Girl, you was posing for them pictures. 
stop it. Um, but yeah, I, 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 I enjoyed her interview. I enjoyed her talking about Kim and Kanye. I, cause she really didn't bash them so much. She did say they make a perfect couple, just not wasn't for her. She really didn't bash with Khalifa. She just felt like shit. What do she supposed to do? He living his life. What the fuck was she supposed to do? So I get it, girl. Go live your life. Go do you. Go. I'm not going to say fuck whoever because I still still feel that's nasty of a girl just sleeping with whoever and ever. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Because your son got to see that. If you are sleeping with that many people, you don't have to announce it to the world. Your son don't need to know who you sleeping with and all that kind of stuff. Mm-mm. Um, what else did I see? Did y'all see that fight with that... Was that the Walmart lady? Whatever it was. Where she beat that lady ass um, for headbutting her. I was so here for it. I was so here for her dragging her. Because that lady was fucking out of line. Like, so out of line. I was like, bitch, are you serious? Mm-mm. I was here for it. Um. Oh, and before I keep on going, congratulations to uh, Ashley Miller. For going to the Tyler Perry, um, I think it was a half and half not party. I am so, like, happy for her. She deserved it. She's so humble. She's so cool. You know, she has helped a lot of supported people, um, and stuff like that on YouTube. And she supported me and, you know, prayed for me through my surgery and my health issues. So, can, you know, you deserve it, boo. You really deserve it all that you had got over the weekend and i just wish you just much more success like i always tell you it's nothing but success in 2015 so that's how we gonna look at it and i just see bigger things to come for ashley um this bird man shit what's this dude starship god claim he fuck got sucked in the ass by bird man for a record deal I'm going to do a whole nother separate videos of what I'm so scared my daughter is going to fucking come up with when she's growing up to start liking dudes. If this is what the world is coming to. This is what, this is the world of bitch ass dudes. I don't give a damn if you gay, if you straight, if, but all this snitching and putting people on blast and outing people. That is some bitch ass shit if I ever fucking saw it. There's nothing secure of stable. I want my daughter to grow up and be attracted to somebody that's stable and secure in who they are. That they don't have to put people on blast and pick people down and snitch on people and put your sex lights out there. Put your pictures out there. These dudes right now are such bitch ass dudes. I don't give a fuck you did it. I don't give a fuck if he fucked you in your ass. You did it. So why are you putting him on blast now? Oh, fucking well. You did it. You outing him is not making him look bad. It make you look bad. He still gonna have fucking millions. Y'all niggas still gonna sign to him right after you put this shit out. What is the fucking point? What is the fucking point? Everybody coming at Birdman now. Da -da -da -da. Right after you leave, the next motherfucker is going to come. I'm just saying. I mean, I, I'm just saying. It's, this is just like the the new generation of the whole Chris Stokes and B2K. Not saying that they gay or they got fucked in the ass, but we just going through the same shit. We going through the same shit with different people. And these dudes... I don't mind you dressing up as a woman. I don't I don't mind you liking dudes like I said. But y'all look stupid. The way y'all dressing is looking stupid. So y'all making girls look bad. And you're making boys look bad. You just look fucking ridiculous. I don't know. My prayers and thoughts go out to... I'm, I'm just all over the place. Sorry, y'all. But as I'm talking, I think of things. Um, my prayers go out to the family that... You know, lost the guy in the accident. Well, I think it was a guy in the accident that, uh, what's his name? That Jenner dude, Bruce. Is that the daddy? Yeah. That he was involved in that accident. It was just, as soon as I seen it, I was like, oh my God, this just reminded me of the whole Brandy accident thing. But he was involved in the accident. Somebody hit somebody and somebody hit somebody else. It was like four car accident. 
he was saying how he wanted to, you know, uh, cooperate and take a blood test and take let him get see his phone. I don't know all the details. I just know that somebody lost their life in that situation, and that's what we're gonna be praying for. All this pop these paparazzis need to fucking fall back. Fall the fuck back. This is what you guys are creating, trying to get pictures of somebody that can care fucking less. Like, I, it's not that he cared, didn't care for the person that, you know, lost their life. But he can care less about y'all popping these pictures and y'all getting paid. And, and y'all are putting other lives in danger. Mm -mm. That's some fucked up shit. Um, anything else? We're going to keep on praying for Bobby Christina. You know, she's still holding on. So, we're going to still hold on to her. So, you know what I'm saying? Um... Mayo Campbell arrested for popping off. Girl, get your life together. That's all I'm going to say. Get your fucking life. Because everybody was rooting for you and you still... See, this is what I'm saying. You root for people and then they don't want to root for their own damn self. Um, I think that's all I want to talk about. It's like All-Star Weekend, so all the thoughts are out. All the thoughts out. All the groupies. All the reality stars trying to get a basketball player so they can get a role on Basketball Wives or Housewives or, you know, all the little gold diggers out there. Everybody sucking for purses. Mm -mm. Kanye, go sit your fucking ass down. Oh, my God. Beyonce can't win every fucking thing. Nikki can't win every fucking thing. Your girl is not the best looking bitch in the world. Go sit your crazy ass down. Gonna say it was thoughts in his head. When he did that dude back like that. That was some immature ass shit. And people need to stop giving him a pass for doing that bullshit. Like, for real, for real. Um. Anything else important, important that I'll need to talk about before I get to reality shows? Let me see. No. I think that's all I really want to talk about. Um. Because it's just All-Star Weekend. Oh, that girl that won the 20... She won, what? 561.4 million power jackpot, whatever. Girl, sit your ass down to it until you get your money. Stop telling everybody. Stop showing everybody. Stop putting pictures on fucking Facebook and Instagram. Until you got some money in your hand, you better stop. Because I'm telling you, motherfuckers are robbed, stealing, and killing to be famous. I'm just saying. Um, I'm trying to see. I don't care about that basketball player putting his hands between people's legs. I'm telling y'all, everybody trying to put everybody on blast nowadays, and I don't give a fuck. Let's talk about R&B Divas. That came back on this week. Oh, that fight with Meek Mills and Rick Ross and them didn't care. Um, I told you. All, everything, everybody trying to be famous, so right now, I just don't care. If it ain't about uplifting nobody and doing all that shit, I really don't care. Everybody trying to be famous. R&B Divas LA Season 3, Episode 1. I did watch it this week, and I'm sorry I didn't give a review, uh, per, uh, you know, an individual review, but we're going to keep it going this week, next week. Um, It was okay. It was all about the girls coming back together and being cool with each other and Trying to work everything out. Shantae was kind of nervous because of um, all the shit that happened at the reunion. And then and, um, with the Puerto Rico at the little water thing. So she was kind of scared. She didn't know how the girls were going to react and stuff like that. And um, Michelle A had that damn art exhibit. I was rolling. I, I, Michelle A gives this show comedy um, relief to me. And I get to my life when she gets on screen because she really say stuff and she be serious, but it be funny. But I be like, she got a point, so I like her. Um, but yeah, when she was talking about her and Snoop Dogg was chilling and shit, I was rolling. Then, you know, Shantae comes to the party, Lil Mo comes to the party, um, Chrisette comes, Leela's on tour, so, but she'll be in other episodes. Claudette is gone back to New Jersey, you know, so whatever. The two new girls that's um, coming, we wasn't introduced, so we ain't going to talk about them. But, yeah, so everybody, you know, it was like I said, it was about Claudette. I mean, Shantae wanted to be cool with the girls. Uh, Lil Mo is uh, having an album release party. She also introduced her fiancé, husband, whatever she want to call him, didn't want to call him, whatever. 
He's a boxer from Philly. He likes to knock niggas out. Who cares? Um, you need anger. You just, when you say you like to knock people out, you just need to go take some anger problem classes. I don't know. But, yeah, she, she the type of person that she's going to hurry up and move on. She ain't got time to be wasting life. Okay, I get it. But I'm just like, you got kids, so please just be careful. Um... But yeah, after the album release party, which she did okay. I don't know if I would want to listen or buy the album, but okay. She it wasn't like she did bad or sung bad. No. Uh, Shantae invited them to Big Bear. She was Lil Mo was kind of skeptical on going to Big Bear because she felt like they haven't really resolved the thing, so she didn't know if she really wanted to go. But she went anyway. It was kind of awkward going, but they went. Um, they had to do these trust exercises, everybody became back cool, and that was that. So I guess we'll get into the beef and the bullshit when Stacey Francis come. And I'm all here for her drama and bullshit, because at least she gonna turn up. Um, and I'm hoping, I'm hoping and praying that Little Mo and Miss Chalet don't get into it. Because I really like Miss Chalet, and I really don't want to go in on Little Mo. But Little Mo, you need to stop shading Shantae. All the goddamn time if you want to work this out. Through her confessional, she kept on shading Shantae. She shaded her about her hair like her hair was any motherfucking better. I, I just don't get it. Mm -mm. Then she was talking about respecting her elders and all that. I'm like, girl, girl, stop. You're talking about you want to work things out. Stop. Empire. Oh, my God. I love Empire. I love Cookie. <laughs> and, and, and what's her name? Precious Paris? What's not Precious Paris, but what's that girl name? Paris? I don't know. Her assistant. You better not fucking be with Anika and go against Cookie. I'm telling you. If if so, I hope Cookie get your damn cat pilt too. I'm just saying because I like her, but I love Cookie a little bit more. It, it was what, what? Go in there. Go in there. Was it me? Was it me? Or was it, I don't know, but Cookie made people turn, a lot of women turn lesbian for like 10 seconds. I'm just saying, when, when she took off the coat, when she took off the coat, I don't even like women. Mm -mm. But I was just like, well, damn, that is an ass. That's what you call an ass. I don't know all this Nicki Minaj, K. Michelle bullshit. Mm -mm, mm -mm. Cookie had a real ass because she had cellulite and all that kind of stuff. So that was the real ass. And I was all here for her showing the real ass on TV. I'm just saying. I was here for it. I'm just saying. I like Twilight Beans. And I think she's a bomb mess actress and all that. And she gives me life on this show. That goddamn Hakeem, I still want his ass whooped. I knew Vernon was a piece of shit. Andre is a piece of shit. I love Jamal's music. I'm so here for Jamal's music. Sorry, Michael, but you just might have to little back up. Eat the road with the punch and the back the fuck up. Because Cookie is going to put her son out there. And Jamal wants this so bad that I'm just saying he won't, he, he, he's eating up the fame right now. And I'm, and I was really hoping that he had said he was gay because I really think the world needs to know that. But hey. But damn, did y'all see Raven Simone? At first, I didn't know who she was. I kept saying, damn, she looks familiar. And then I looked and I'm like, oh, hell. And this motherfucking got a baby with Raven Simone. Or or do we need to get a blood test? Do we need to get a blood test? I think we need to get a blood test before I keep saying that. But yeah, that was good. Um, I'm, I'm all here for Scandal. I mean, Empire. Scandal is rubbing me the wrong way. For real, for real. I'm going I'm to continue to review that this week, but... It's rubbing me the wrong way. Like, I don't, mm -mm. It's the stupid storyline of them having Olivia hostage. Now they're trying to sell her. Only good thing about Scandal that's happened this week that had me like, what the fuck is Huck? Huck <laughs> is crazy to the motherfucker. What he cut? Oh, he was trying to cut up the bodies. And Jake wasn't no better because he tried, he cut the head off with no damn problem. No facial expressions, no nothing. But, yeah, who do y'all think got to let me? Who y'all think bought her? Because I'm, I'm on the fence. Who y'all think bought her? The mama. I want the mama to get out of jail. I don't know. Um, what else happened? Marriage boot camp. I'm so tired of Spencer now. If Spencer gets on my damn nerves, I'm ready for him and Heidi to kick fucking rocks. 
Oh my God, Selena and her husband and that sex thing with them dogs. I was, my mouth was open just like Natalie's like. I ain't mad at them, but it was funny. Um, Little Women in L.A. What's the, what's the black girl name? Whatever the black girl name is. I hate her. I, I don't like her. I want to kick her. I don't, mm-mm. Uh, her home girl, the pregnant broad, I don't like her either. I don't know why the other girl, I'm so bad with their names. I don't know why the other girl got the ass injections and lipo or whatever the fuck she got. Uh, it, it, I like that show though. But, mm -mm, I don't like that pregnant one. I don't like the pregnant one and her friend. I don't like them. They're her whole squad. I don't like Tracy. I don't like none of them. Christy, she do some messy ass shit. But, I like them better than the pregnant girl. Um, what else? I didn't watch the blacklist this week. Did Revenge come on? I didn't watch that. I didn't watch nothing. I told y'all I just moved and my cable and internet had just got hooked up so I didn't really watch too much of nothing but um yeah that's all I have for this week of my ghetto views tell me what y'all thought if I find out some more shit that happened I'll come back and talk about it um but y'all tell me what y'all thought about these topics and we can keep the conversation going there like once again I said congratulations to Ashley Miller y'all go check out her YouTube channel um cause she deserved it and so much more um Check out my cousin Mike B, James Cowell, C Minted, Sayshawn Bradley, Forrest Rocks. Prayers and thoughts to much love from KY. She had just had her um procedure done on her mouth and she was in so much pain. And she just like me after I had my damn shit. I got right on camera. I just took some pills and got on camera and talked. And it's hard to just sit there. So I understand how she felt. Because I still be having pain. And I still go through it and talk to you guys. So I my thoughts and prayers is with her. My thoughts and prayers is also with C-Mentis. She had recently had surgery. And her ass is doing too much and needs to go sit her ass on the couch and just do videos like we do. Just sit your ass down. Um, but yeah, and I'll see you guys on the next video for Real Housewives of Atlanta. And yeah, alright, peace out.